Right, Citron has decided not to retreat out of the range of my bombers as I intended. Instead, he's going after my light tank. He needs 14 more minutes to reach it. I need 19 minutes to get out. He's Pan Asian, he's faster, and I'm in enemy territory. So I am going to force march out. I'm also force marching my tank destroyers back now. I've separated them because I knew this could happen, so I didn't send them all the way into this city. And I'm gonna threaten to cut him off because that just might work to send him back. Because I'm building a level 2 airstrip here. I've healed the province morale. There's no way I want to lose this province. I want to use this airbase. I want to refuel. And I want to protect my armored cars because I'm gonna upgrade them. Only have 48 minutes of research left. Seven of them selected. Confirm. This one they're gonna hold. It's at safety now. Upgrade as well. But I don't have oil anymore. Market. Let's see if I can sell some food for a good price. Oh, yeah. Let's take accept nine. Done. Now let's buy a thousand oil. Accept. Done. Upgrade. Upgrade. Done. And then my last one is over here. Split off one armored car. Move it that way. Upgrade. Confirm. Done. That's all upgrading. That's fine. One hour, five minutes, and I'm gonna have 10 level 3 armored cars. These medium tanks, however, not cool, because he's fast, man. He moves at 36 on the planes. Normally, he moves at 46, but his units are damaged, so they're slower. Still 35, and he's gonna get a 25% speed bonus on the planes, but he's gonna move slower here. I should be able to get my tank destroyers over here in time. Five hours later. South Sudan has has made a stack of 10 subs level 1 and he has attacked Illinois who only has one battleship. Already three light tanks have been destroyed. He lost half of his hit points already. Some players will never learn man. Battleships are expensive. You need to protect them with destroyers. Three seconds to next attack. Bam! All the convoy units have been destroyed. Only the battleship is left. Protect your navy. Protect your escort units, you need destroyers. Sichuan has the same problem. He has a stack of four battleships, no destroyers. He doesn't have cruisers neither to give his stack additional anti-air cover. And with my tactical bombers, I was able in four patrol ticks to reduce the stack with 50 hit points. 75% is gone. Imagine if I would have had naval bombers or submarines in the area. He would have lost his battleships. You need to protect your navy. Navy, man. Battleships are so expensive, you cannot afford to lose them. I'm done refueling, so I'm gonna put my planes on patrol. Done. I think that as soon as I have taken this province, I should build another airbase here. Man, I'm expanding very fast because Sichuan just retreated with both his land and his navy. From the looks of it, most is empty. Really nice, it's going very fast. Finally, I can expand again. And I didn't notice, but you also have a reveal on North Ural. His army is spread out all over the place. He hasn't been on the line yet neither. North Ural still has his 3 starting anti-air, upgrade his 15 starting infantry to level 3, 2 cruisers, 6 armored cars, 2 infantry level 2, 1 light tank, 8 medium tanks, 4 tactical bombers level 1, 1 motorized infantry, 1 sub, 3 tactical bombers level 2, 6 interceptors, only level 1 though, and in Cometern has the weakest interceptors of all the doctrines, and only 1 rocket artillery. I mean, why do all this research and build a secret lab to only produce one rocket artillery? It doesn't make any sense. Only one sub? Maybe he just started building an AV, I don't know. That's pretty weak, man. He has 60 units in total. He's gonna get shredded, man. Especially with the reveal all units. Oscar knows exactly which provinces are empty. What's going on over here? Oh, damn! He's now also attacking Spain now that he has the intel. Spain so far isn't moving. Christ. Yeah. Oscar is a very good player, man. He dares to try things that I wouldn't dare to do. Let's just select all my tank destroyers. And yeah, I'll send them over here. 13 hours, so that's good. And now let's add a target to heck, I don't know, maybe over here. Done. Still got a long, long way to get to the core provinces of Sichuan. And I'm extending my supply line, so there might be a surprise that waits for me in the capital. We'll see. I'm just gonna upgrade my units along the way. Actually, I might as well move this one over here here split it up one go not like that like this and i hope that this is all gonna be empty that when i wake up that not all my units are gone that would not be cool the provinces are huge this is all planes there is barely 
hills. I don't want to take my artillery on the hills. These are hills, so I can send them here. And almost all of this are planes. And I don't want to put my artillery on the planes when I'm not online. I also need to upgrade my units. 45 minutes. Need to wait a little bit longer to launch the upgrade. Because if I remember correctly, the upgrading time was 45 minutes, I think. 48 minutes. Yeah, need to wait 5 more minutes. And then I can also upgrade my anti-air. Uh, now there's a province of South India over here. I'm not gonna be able to take that province, I think, before they change tomorrow. I don't want to have the core provinces rebelling back to North India. 20 minutes later. Six hours ago, I've sent a message to our dear friend Sao Paulo and he only replied now. I don't know if I have to read it because you can read it yourself, I guess. But basically, I'm telling, but basically, I told Sao Paulo that he needs to do his homework before inviting players that he could easily have seen that French Sudan and South Sudan were both in the same alliance. If he weren't that honorable, he could have spied on them. And then I'm warning him about Illinois noise that now is in South America and that it would be wise to focus on Illinois move his units north and help his allies instead of uh, preparing an invasion into Africa. I'm telling what kind of units that Illinois has and what kind of units he's gonna need to counter them and I'm even offering that French Sudan and South Sudan could come help and aid them. He replied that they are building up their defenses and that he's not going to attack Africa and he accepts any help possible. Well, we're gonna see what our players do because Syria says that we can finish this game by day 10 as we are steamrolling to Asia, that he can steamroll to Europe. If Tanyanika takes out New Zealand and the boys take out South America, that we wouldn't even have to fight Illinois. I have serious doubts about the execution of this plan, but anyways, Subs arrived in the Strait of Gibraltar. So far our dear friend hasn't moved. Most coastal units have been destroyed. Damn man, Spain didn't move any units. I don't get these type of players that come online once a day. How can you play a game like this? I hope you have enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and hit that bell button for notifications. I want to say a warm thank you to my members and elite members for supporting this channel.